This is Joshua. He's hungry. Today, he's not eaten any food. Literally nothing. He's not just hungry, he's starving. In all reality, Joshua will die of hunger-related disease. Maybe not today, but not that too long in the future. He'll join the other 11,000 children who die daily of hunger-related diseases. Now, Joshua is not in some barren desert like the Sahara where there is no food. Literally, a five-minute walk up this hill, there's a small supermarket where you can buy as much food as you really want or would need. Joshua's issue is that he's an orphan. His guardian neighbor is trying to raise her own three children by herself and then also look after Joshua and his little sister. But she has no job. How do you put food in the belly of your own children, let alone your dead neighbor's children? She tries, but what's her chances? She's got no education. She's got no unemployment benefits. She's got no social security. It's not that she's fallen through the cracks of the system. There is no system. She literally has no way to put food into Joshua's belly. This is Joshua. He watched today as some lucky children went to school. He so wishes he could go to school, but it costs 50 cents to go to school here. And he hasn't got 50 cents. 50 cents. He's not alone. Most people in this slum, they live on a dollar or two dollars a day. How do you take the dollars that you earn and pay rent, buy some food, and still have 50 cents left over to pay for school fees? You just can't. He won't go to school ever. No education, no learning. He'll remain illiterate, not able to read or write. And Joshua will stay here and die in this slum. And along with maybe the other 60 million children in the next decade who live in the slums on our planet. Now, I know that the Bible has lots to tell us about the poor. In fact, there are over 2,000 verses in the Bible that tell us who seemingly read and follow the Bible that we should take the side of the poor and the oppressed. And we all know that if we follow Jesus, we're following someone who himself was poor. But theology is never done in a vacuum. You see, it's one thing to believe that God loves the poor. It's another thing to see it firsthand or see it through video and say, okay, God loves the poor. And because I love that same God, I should love the poor also. But who we listen to determines what we hear. Where we stand determines what we see. What we do determines who we are. So who are you? See, Joshua's only problem is that he was born in the wrong place. But he didn't choose to be born here. So should he be condemned to a living hell now because of a choice he never made? And now something else is about to happen to Joshua and his family. It's about to get dark in this slum. And there's no lights. There's no police present. I mean, during the day, we see the chaos, we see the trash, we see the smell of sewage, we see people walking around, we see them barely surviving by their living. But at dark, we don't see what happens. One out of every three women in Haruma have been beaten or abused. Nearly one out of two 10-year-old to 19-year-old girls, 45% of them, have been raped in this slum. Turn the sun off, and this slum and little Joshua live in fear of violence. And in the dark of night, no one knows what happens. No one's here filming. It's hidden, but it's real. But this is Joshua. He's still here. He can't escape. And what did he do wrong? Nothing. Nothing. What we do determines who we are. 
is there a, someone out there who's willing to walk the way of Jesus, to be his hands and his feet? Is there something or someone who can pierce the darkness and bring light into even the darkest place on earth? So here's the good news. There are some incredible people who live in this slum who are walking the way of Jesus to help Joshua, to give him food, to give him a safe place to grow up, and education to empower him. You know, for 17 cents, food can be put in his belly. $35 a month will give him an education to empower him out of the cycle of poverty. And the good news is you can join this movement. You can be a part of helping this Joshua and many other Joshuas. Join the movement to kick extreme poverty off the face of the planet and live out the gospel of Jesus Christ in a most powerful, real way.